In 1 Kings chapter 3, there, there's so much going on in this chapter, but I, I want to focus in on probably one of the most well-known dreams in all the Bible. It's a dream that Solomon has in Gibeon, I believe it is, and, and the Lord appears to him. And listen to what the Lord says to him in this, in this dream. It's in, it's in verse 5. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask, what shall I give you? And what's implied here, what's understood here, it's almost like God is saying, Solomon, whatever you want, you can ask for it. And, and so Solomon does. He, I'm going to give you part of his response. Here's what he says. He says, now, Lord, my God, you have made your servant king. And this is in verse 7. He says, instead of my father David, but I am a little child. I don't know how to go out or to come in. He's saying, I'm inexperienced. I don't know how to rule this kingdom. I'm not my dad. And so he's, he asked him, it says, as you continue on in verse 9, Therefore give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? So he asked basically for wisdom. You, you probably know this dream. And everybody thinks, wow. Solomon was given this great opportunity to ask for anything he wanted, and he asked for wisdom. And God gives it to him. And sometimes we think, boy, if I'd have been given that opportunity, I would have asked for this or that or money or fame or whatever it might be. And there's a lot that Solomon could have asked for that would have been good. I mean, he could have asked for a deep and abiding relationship with the Lord himself, similar to what his dad had. But he asked for wisdom. And I, I want to respond by saying, you know, sometimes we think, you know, God hasn't given us things. But, but listen to some verses. I, I want to read one, this thing of asking and God giving. We, we have this verse in Matthew chapter 7. It, it says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. And that's the words of Jesus. So there is this promise to us about asking and receiving and knocking and the door being opened. I think sometimes we just have to remember to do that. There's another one in 1 John chapter 5, and it reads like this. It's a great promise from the Lord. It's actually verse 14. It says, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. So not only Solomon, but you and I have the ability to ask in the will of God, to knock and to seek, and God does answer. Solomon did a lot of crazy wrong things in his leadership, in his time as a king, but he also did a lot of wise things. And part of this chapter, 1 Kings chapter 3, is that great story about the two women who bring the baby. And one is accusing the other of stealing the baby. The other says, no, it's hers. And so Solomon calls for a swordsman. You remember that story. And he says, okay, well, we'll divide the baby in half. And he's about to do it. And the woman says, no, 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 just give it to her. Let, let her have the child. So, so the baby's about to be cut in half. And she says, give it to the other lady. And Solomon realizes, well, the woman who's unwilling to have the baby cut in half, certainly it belongs to her. And he demonstrates this kind of wisdom in his administration, in his lifetime as a king. And in the very last verse here in 1 Kings chapter 3, after everyone heard about his wisdom, it says, All Israel heard of the judgments which the king had rendered, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to administer justice. So Solomon ruled with great wisdom. He could have asked for other things that perhaps would have let his kingdom flourish even more. And I think that would have been a deep relationship with God. But he asked for wisdom and God granted it. And you and I have the opportunity to ask, to seek, and to knock. And God grants those prayers according to his great will.